What's going on guys? So it is January 16th, 17th, something like that, 18th, somewhere around there, 2022. And I uploaded a video the other day and I was going through and I found some old video that I recorded months ago. And it was making Rapashi food my way, not using the directions like to a T. And um, I'll probably use some of the video from that but I decided to redo it because at the end of the video, I was going to show you like my super duper Thanksgiving smorgasbord of Rapashi I was going to make. And I was about to film that. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to refilm the intro to this um, and just kind of skip out the boring Rapashi, how I make it, and just go straight into the crazy, crazy super Rapashi. And um, we're going to get into that now. And it's three different Rapashis. It's going to be Bottom Scratcher. Uh, morning wood and community I mix all three together um, instead of making like a morning wood one a bottom scratch or a community I mix them all together because it turns out whenever I'm whenever I used to make them separately all the fish still ate all of it um, Pluckos ate the community stuff guppies ate the Plucko food and vice versa so I now just make it like one big super Apache block and I even take it a step further by using some frozen foods um, so this is mini blood worms. I also have uh, frozen brine shrimp. I also have mysa shrimp, but I don't usually put that in the rapashi because it's bigger. Um, so what I'm going to do is start off by thawing the frozen food just into a glass. I just pop the cubes in here. Uh, if you saw this in the thumbnail, it's not for me to eat it or drink it, but um, I'm going to go ahead and pop the cubes into this and let them start thawing. All right, so we got some cubes in there. They're just going to sit here and thaw out. Sorry, the dishwasher's running in the background. I didn't think about it. I started it and I was like, hey, let me film this video. So we're gonna let those thaw. Uh, next step is to get some hot water. So I believe Rapashi instructions say um, using a kettle or microwave boil hot water. Um, it, to me, it doesn't need to be boiling. Uh, it just needs to be hot because that helps the gel kind of mix together and solidify once it cools. Um, so I'm just gonna take a coffee mug and that's microwave safe, put it in the microwave and heat it until it's hot. And then uh, we'll move forward. All right, why the water is heating up in the microwave? Uh, get yourself a container. I use these kind of like disposable. Uh, this one's like Rubbermaid, whatever, whatever brand container you want to use. This is what I use. I like the shallow ones and big. I do have a lot of fish tanks, so um, filling this up, I don't fill all the way to the top, maybe halfway or so. Um, I'll go through this in about three days. Um, so what we're going to do now is combine ingredients. And I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Let's see how this works. So this is the bottom scratcher. And there's no, for me, there's no right or wrong way. I just kind of add a bunch. This one looks like sawdust. And I'm gonna leave that lid off because I might come back and add more. Majority of this mixture is gonna be the community. Uh, this is the morning wood. And if you guys have ever made repash, you know how awesome this stuff smells. And that's sarcasm, it does not smell good. And community, one-handed. Could have got the tripod out, but we're just winging it right now. This actually has a scoop in it. We're not using a scoop, we're just dumping. quite a bit but we'll use it up fairly quickly this week all right so now I'm just gonna use my hand because I don't want to get a spoon I'm just gonna kind of mix this all together and there goes the microwave so the water's ready let me uh, continue mixing this and I'm gonna put the phone down all right now we got some hot water we're gonna pour a little bit into here uh, just kind of thaw these guys out this is going to make a mess. I guarantee it. That's what I'm doing on the... Okay. Take a little... This is like a butter knife. I don't know. That's what I use for my refreshing. We're just going to kind of stir this. Get all those brine shrimps. Not in cubes anymore. We're not trying to like cook them. We just want them thawed out. And we're going to go ahead and just pour this directly in 
I'm gonna start mixing. I don't follow directions very well as far as the ratio. I don't know if it's like three to one. I just add water and, and mix until it's right. And I end up uh, actually adding more of that community. There wasn't much left in that jar. So I just said, screw it, let's just use the rest. Um, so yeah, just kind of mix it, add water. Uh, you know, it's already kind of dry and clumpy. I'm gonna put this down so I can use my two hands and get this mixed. All right, you know what I was just thinking? I was like, I should, could've used a blender and make this like mix real quick like. Um, I did add quite a bit of water. You can see it kind of over here. Uh, that's all right because this is hot water. Um, you can see it's kind of evaporating. Moisture content will go down. I'm still mixing, but what the, the last thing I add, and someone's gonna ask me how many cubes I put in here. I put in 12, guys, it doesn't matter how many you put in. You put in one cube, put in 30. You know, it's kind of make, make your own recipe here. Uh, I just know somebody's gonna ask me how many cubes and how much of this, I don't know. I just don't make it and whatnot. Uh, I'm gonna add some calcium. Uh, this is calcium sulfate. This is going to help plants and fish, uh, snails, shrimp. Um, this is why I dose my tanks. I'm just going to add, add some like powdered sugar, not going crazy, and mix that in. Kind of baking a cake, right? It's the final ingredient. All right, so I got that mixed up. Uh, that's kind of what it looks like. Now, I've seen people online put these things like into like cupcake pans or little ice cube trays to kind of make individual like little pieces. I think that's kind of nonsense. So what I do is I'm gonna put this in the fridge and when it cools off, it kind of gets more solid how Rapashi does. And then when I go to feed my tanks, you know, there's, I don't, I don't even know how many tanks I have right now, 50 or 60 tanks. You know, there's a, there's a tank right here next to my oven. Um, I just carry this whole thing and I just take that little uh, butter knife and I just cut a little piece out chuck it into a tank cut a little piece chuck it into a tank and uh, I'll kind of I'll probably clip in some of my original video from a few months ago of what this was supposed to be and um, I just want to show you the super apache is what I call this um, added calcium that's going to benefit like I said some fish um, snails shrimp and then also if for whatever reason it dissolves into the water content uh, which is awesome um, it helps plants and that's really what it is. It's a plant fertilizer, but I use this I just made a mess everywhere, but I use this to uh, supplement shrimp uh, Shrimp tanks and snail tanks. Uh, this is Nilo uh, CG um, Select salts and it's the calcium So I don't know how much I put in someone's gonna ask me don't know you guys see the video I'm just winging it and I think you guys should too. Don't overthink it. So we're looking pretty good It's time to let this thing sit uh, in the fridge. I do cover it. I'm sure if I left it uncovered it would uh, set up quicker, but if you leave it uncovered in your fridge, uh, your girlfriend or wife or spouse or partner or whatever is going to hate you because it smells. So let's go ahead and get this in the fridge and we'll come back once it's ready to serve. All right, so that's going to sit in the fridge probably for a couple hours to cool off and really set up. So instead of waiting a couple hours and filming again, I want to get this video edited uh, tonight, like real quick like it's 7 30 so it's going to be late uh, by the time that sets up so what i'm going to do is cut to my original video i filmed of feeding the tanks and that'll go in like you know right after this little segment and then um that's just kind of showing you how i cut it it's going to be a different container because i made it months ago that video so anyways guys thanks for watching i uh, appreciate you guys sticking with me and I'll see you in the next video whenever that is. But see ya. All right, that was in the fridge for a couple hours and it's a little bit more chunky than normal. It's usually pretty smooth. Uh, I added, I think a little bit too much dry powder in the water kind of cooled off a bit, but this is basically what you'll end up with. And I just use, I guess this is like a butter knife. And because I have so many tanks, I like to make it in a container like this. And then I can just take uh, a slice out, um, however much per tank, just like that, and then dump in the tank. So let's go feed some fish. All right, we're in the fish room. So uh, let's take this piece. This was kind of a big piece, but big chunky monkey. And we'll put it in, uh-oh. Man down. Let's try another piece. Maybe I should actually watch what I'm doing. 
and boom. This is uh, the salt and pepper cori or paliatus. It won't take them long. They'll be on it in a second. Let's hit the 614 guppies. Wow, they're looking good right now, aren't they? Look at the colors on them. Let's give them a decent piece. And this is all I do. I just kind of scoop out a chunk, and toss it into the tank. Where'd it go? I missed it. What happened? Oh, it's down here. It's down here in the corner. Oh, well, they're already getting gathering around it. Let me see the small pepper quarries. They're they're starting to notice it. All right, let's feed some of these other things. A little bit, a little bit smaller piece. We'll put it up here with the orange laser quarries and Vienna guppies. There's Vienna guppies in there too. So we'll give that a second. It, it only takes them a few seconds. I mean, the guppies notice that Vienna is looking good. It doesn't take them long before they find it. Uh, but even the plecos. So there comes a pleco right there. They probably smell it in the water. Oh, you can see Havana. Your reflection. Wait, you want some Rapashi? Of course. Gosh, it's a feeding frenzy. So the guppies, they just absolutely destroy. And like I said, this is three different kinds of Rapashi, but I'll go ahead and give them another chunk. Try to put it a little further back. Oh. It's about to get stuck in the sponge filter. There we go. And there's a Havana. Those are lava rocks. I'm trying to block the reflection for you guys. Dang swarm over there. Guys, getting closer. Orange lasers looking good. And I even give it to the shrimp tanks. Shrimp snails, I mean, pretty much everything loves this. That's how much I use just in the fish room. So uh, every tank, uh, including the pond down there and the 55, all the, the racks, and all these tanks, they all get it. And that's how much is left after feeding all my tanks. So, this size container, I'd say about half of it um, is for one feeding. If I do all the tanks, I don't feed this all the time. I This is like maybe a once a week or once every two weeks. It's just kind of, when I think about it, I give them something different, vary their diet a little bit, call it a treat, whatever, but that's this will be two feedings. Sorry, the glass is very covered in algae because the pea puffer obviously killed all the snails. But the snails are coming back now that he's gone.
direction is bring water to a boil on stove and microwave or kettle that's already too much stuff let's just make this the easy way i don't like that check 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 Bring water to a boil in a microwave on the stove.